Hello Cancer, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to Tarot Solar Sun Studio. We are going to perform who is destined to be on your path. So welcome to this general reading. Uh, it's a general reading, so it is not a tarot. Uh, it is not a personal tarot reading to you. Uh, that's why please take this as general energy transfer that science collective uh, for the time uh, that it is being watched uh, because it has also a timeless time influence on it uh, i would like to now proceed with your tarot guys uh, finally i am bringing the alice in wonderland tarot so i'm very happy to use this tarot deck and now we will explore together by the way um how uh, i have formulated this reading i want to talk about that uh, so when this person uh, shows up on your path uh, this is the state you are in so first it's like i'm going to speak about cards um describing in which state are you in and how let's say do they find you even truly so we have the ten of wands ace of wands and the knight of swords mm. now uh, there is an inner critic here in you all these cards belong to you now so uh, they are just your state there uh, there is this inner critic uh, and there is like l you are undertaking a lot of uh, responsibility here and it's like you are juggling many things but also there is a uh, it may feel maybe sometimes like a burden to you uh, you are really trying to um, look for some new outlet opportunity vision and it's like when this is gonna end that heavy burden or what i'm occupied with because it feels really heavy there your inner critic uh, somehow uh, is working there and that inner critic may be um, is working in a way that uh, there is something you are criticizing yourself how you undertake undertake things or how do you um, um, carry out things there so but it does not lead to self sabotage there is just this uh, inner dialogue uh, keeps playing uh, there um, I see when this person finds you, there is this action, uh, determination, and really a focus. And uh, though Ace of Wands is like, suddenly it's like you find something and the action of that overburdened uh, feelings and uh, undertakings seems like an inspired action you know it's like sometimes let's say you do something um, but now you have some kind of a new uh, ideal you know excitement around doing that so it may actually make things faster um, from the from feeling overwhelmed uh, action it's about a feeling inspired action in yourself uh, so it always puts you somehow in this forward momentum and i think you are finding a new idea or uh, from now on a new way of undertaking things um, it's maybe these cards really uh, talks about swiftness it's like the and this is a bit heavy one right so you you find a way of doing something in a swift way but thanks to 
that also inner dialogue you had with yourself. So there is this type of enthusiasm and an excitement comes to you. Um, in that point, what happens? You feel more inspired and you take this bold action maybe or change the way you do things and there is like more um, f feeling of uh, following your intuition. Now you are having a progress because you know that there is a motivation underneath it now. Um, growth, expansion uh, are the things you are expecting uh, out of this because now this quick momentum comes and suddenly something shifts. So uh, it is putting you into a better uh, place because uh, you are experiencing this surge of momentum. Um, you are experiencing this surge of mo motivation, which is propelling you uh, forward very swiftly. And there is this mental clarity finally. Well, uh, this is something actually long time cancer is really looking for. Um, so now you have a clear vision. Now you have a clear vision um, for your goals. And also you are um, in the thoughts wise, you are like fully equi equipped uh, to achieve them. Well, yes, there can be some restlessness and impatience maybe. Uh, but with the Cancer, Cancer is a very uh, sensitive and receptive sign and they are receptive to the surroundings. When they are, um, that radars of sensitiveness is working, uh, they, they just don't act random actually. That, uh, they also uh, easily apply self-control over themselves when they have the full awareness of their surroundings. This is how actually awareness develops in cancer. But there needs to be this a bit, you know, sometimes wake up call for it to bring them to their senses. Um, so something also uh, in your life when this person comes, maybe feeling, oh, am I Go, taking risk now, you know, um, it can be, of course, a calculated risk. Actually, you are uh, encouraged to take a calculated risk. And there is this um, pursuing passion uh, kind of thing there in the forward momentum. Um, I like this energy because uh, there is something you are embarking on here, but it comes from that uh, 10 of ones, this overwhelming and feeling heavy burden things. There was a lot of things on your uh, plate there. Um, and this was, uh, you were, it seems struggling with this uh, for some time. Um, so this is a much needed momentum, much needed mo momentum in Cancer's life, um, much needed is inspiration, much needed uh, a new beginning, um, and that overwhelming heavy responsibilities or ob obligations they carry that lighten, lighten, lighten up a bit. So and of course, for cancer, we also need to ask, you know, how this feels. <laughs> so there is this ending cycle to that also difficult feelings. And th those heavy thoughts, heavy feelings are really lifting up their weight. And now it's like, it's okay with the weight. You are done with the weight. Okay. Um, you are definitely leaving that, that weight. Um, 
there is something very original in your reading also screaming very original maybe you find something very original here this can be very original so you are um the person who is coming towards you has a leo energy with an aquarius twist <laughs> fixed sign energy okay fixed sign energy uh, okay so leo energy with aquarius twist hmm <laughs> i know a friend like this uh, this friend has a uh, aquarius uh, rising uh, Aquarius North Node and a uh, Leo Sun I I know how their energy works and um, we have the fourth house energy this person by the way can be around your um, maybe this is someone uh, someone who is uh, not in your domestic or home life but someone who can be uh, indirectly now will be relating to your home home and domestic life plus um, someone who can be from a place that you are coming from <clears throat> the town or the geography uh, or like um, uh, at least I can say it they may feel home to you and this person will like directly engage with your domestic and home home setting stash um, in the year past they have been they they have achieved many career and <coughs> excuse me a career reputation they know inherently how the outside world looks and uh, they were like uh, working hard for them in their past lives of course we are going to talk about these terms because in the end this is a spiritual counseling um, in the end you are here uh, receiving a spiritual uh, consultation uh, for what you are actually looking for um, and though now they got to in this lifetime they got to uh, actually work on like being private person being a private person will be important for them uh, and their inner world their inner um, private life okay this is what they need to cultivate because in the past life uh, they had so much um, outward and how to say this um, their social settings were very active but now they actually in life need to seek that privacy inner life the quality of their inner life is important uh, but the person has a very unique uh, self-expression and they also like to be inspired in that way the, the unique self-expression they have but they also demand this from the outside of world this is how they get inspired uh, they value a uh, unique self-expression rather than mirroring someone um, so they think this is some type of an outlet um, and their, their sometimes challenge is when they looking for that privacy and rich inner world uh, they may be worrying about what others say uh, you know what others say but actually all they need to do is uh, to be themselves uh, they have the fourth house energy this is actually the uh, house that you are occupying because you are uh, because you are uh, representing uh, the fourth house um, so home and family is your actually uh, natural setting cancer 
uh, you have natural uh, inclination and also a talent for that and this is what you meant to experience in this lifetime under the zodiac sign but uh, they try to go and be that so that there is some kind of an exchange uh, you can do uh, it's hard for this person to go with the flow and giving up control okay um, because they used to uh, be some kind of a, again in the past life it's very important by the way to know what the other person's um, past life setting is uh, because this is uh, gonna be their actually natural inclination talent but what they need to experience is actually private life home life family uh, living a bit like this control, focusing more uh, on heart rather than you know following rules and so um, but they will always uh, feel that strong energy to spend their efforts in career and professional life but they already did that they have actually learned that uh, but in their, this lifetime, the growth actually uh, can happen when they concentrate uh, on um, home and family, private life, the heart energy. Um, so there is this um, there is this kind kind of. Uh, releasing a bit control okay uh, now then what this adds up to now you are here seeking an outward expression and they are seeking an inner expression of their life so you can assist them why they, they are destined to be in on your path or each other's life because you can encourage them for that private space and place and they can encourage you for that outward expression in life. Uh, but again, the, for this person, um, they, how to say, the, their emotional side is a bit underdeveloped, but they are learning and they are learning to listen to their intuition instead of relying on structures, rules, some kind of a strict social setting, uh, some kind of a strict out, 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 uh, authoritarian tone. Um, they will still have power, but it's like this is not that they need to experience in that lifetime uh, i think you're gonna teach them also to a bit uh, you know you can't control everything uh, you need to learn uh, this in order to level up on your spiritual journey um, and uh, it's also you know they are also learning attachment healthy attachment of course um, they drive like to accomplish things can actually help you you will be inspired from from them um, they just I mean they can still achieve but it's like they need to approach them uh, from a more intuitive uh, st uh, point of view okay so there they are like uh, appearing on the right time and right place so that can be this exchange now let's see what it all go uh, done moving towards with this person uh, we are seeing destiny here uh, destiny I use uh, for uh, for uh, the term Dharma 
okay dharma so when i say destiny i do not mean a predestined condition in the future uh, i come from the uh, notion of this dharma which is about like your your fullest potential somehow uh, promised to you or like you were born with and it's like your actions and choices to fulfill that uh, in the end and your co-creations and how they are adding up to that di diagram and encouraging you, you there sometimes uh, people show up on your path uh, as simply as a lesson as well okay so yes what are they encouraging but also what um, you know this this inner saying oh I exactly know what I don't want and this person is not that this can be also put you on your Dharma or destiny because uh, they are just showing it in another way so that uh, you need to be open-minded when uh, you know seeing these terms otherwise you know if we just uh, dogmatic uh, using the things like dogmatic uh, it is uh, to me is not appealing it's like a con then it becomes uh, like a conventional religion but here we are more in the spiritual understanding of th things and this is how tarot works uh, in the end um Oh, we have the Dido. Oh, Bragvain. Uh, we have the like a. This is a page of cups. This is a six of swords, and we have the. Hmm. Okay, so this is number sixteen, and it is Aeneas and Dido. Well, Aeneas is the sailor, um, and uh, after the war of Troy, so uh, he migrates. Um, but yeah, on the way, I think she, he meets uh, Dido, but like has to leave. Uh, leave her this is actually um, uh, Dido is from Carthage 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 Dido uh, so she finds Aenas and his soldiers when she was like walking in the beach and of course she was very much charmed by her by him uh, and Aenas also loved her in return um, but Aeneas uh, is a man with a cows and the mission in the uh, mythology so that mission is larger than to be with a woman so because uh, in the mythology gods um, um, telling you that t telling uh, him that you need to travel you know take this ship you need to find the uh, new Troy in Italy so Aeneas is actually like the fa founding father mythological father of the Italy the peninsula uh, after the Troy war so uh, he is going to start up a civilization so then he had to leave Dido and Dido here is uh, building this funeral like this uh, tower and uh, she set fire to that and Aeneas leaves for his mission so uh, she feels overwhelmed of course this this tower energy and i think this was your ten of wands so this person comes in at also time maybe uh, someone here like leaves and um 
you like knowing that you had to go let go of someone and then uh, in a transitional time they are coming but actually again in the ten of wands the as a result of the tower energy we feel overwhelmed and oppressed by our circumstances or emotions of course we have confusions um, we may have sometimes inability to uh, change our lives for the better you know right away because we do not have yet the awareness of ourselves our conditions we slowly uh, gain that awareness and it starts down from somewhere because uh, the change is con constant in life. Um, then here, uh, we, um, there was a, it felt like a pause, but here I, I feel um, you somehow getting into this exchange uh, with this person, Six of Swords and I has actually a, con a conversation in it because it's through the Six Mutual Conversation one moves their body. That's why it's depicted with uh, in the classical decks um, with the, you know people in a boat like moving from one place to another. Uh, there is some kind of a transition there, some movement, uh, and it goes smoothly. The, when this person comes, it goes smoothly, um, and somehow uh, you help each other to move beyond uh, some cu uh, current limitations. Uh, and yeah, it's it's about lessening the difficulties, really. Um, but then you feel and they feel detached. I think some this mythology is there. It's like with this person there is this brief encounter. It's like you are setting and becoming like a home for each other. You provide that settlement and peripheral place to come to your heart, making difficulties maybe less lessening. Uh, and then uh, there is this very natural detachment, but here with the Page of Cups energy, uh, I see here one person uh, can be like maybe reminiscing over the con con connection later. So I actually uh, see there is some kind of a brief encounter, but yes, they need to be um, on your path. They need to be on your destiny. Our question is not uh, how you're going to end up with, with whom you're going to end up with. This is not our question. Our question is who is destined to be on your path. Again, to uh, facilitate that progress and that Dharma path. Uh, and uh, that's why. Uh, here we are witnessing a uh, page of cups. You know, how can I make my dreams into reality? Sometimes a person comes and touches you briefly, but you got inspired from them. And and maybe they uh, also, uh, Ayanas was trying to, in the mythology, Ayanas was trying to find home to his people after the uh, battle of Troy. So uh, this is supposed to be a new Italy. The fourth house, the person's north node, is also finding a home. But it seems uh, there is a different path uh, at some point will be working for them. What happens though, there is a particular in an encounter, page of cups. Okay, I I have new reality now with this also Ace of Swords and uh, Ace, um, sorry, Knight of Swords and Ace of Wands. With that inspiration, um, you feel that forces of love, that beauty, that emotional richness, uh, that ability to inspire and to be inspired is taking you to uh, some new height star. Okay, uh, you actually a uh, long time Cancer that reset your receptive energy 
was a bit uh, maybe closed. But again, once again, you understand that you got to be more receptive to to that beauty, to 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 love and harmony. Because uh, sometimes you say no, but never say never. One person comes and definitely change t changes that setting, not because that uh, you are passive to do that. It's because actually deep down you get ready for it and they just uh, come and do one magical touch but you are willing to change the circumstances this is why it happens deep down not because uh, you waited someone to come and touch your life and change it it's just like the clashing stories here you were ready for it um so uh, i find what is the let's get some now extra cards Mm. Ayana's story is of course uh, but Daido yeah, Cartagia the Queen of Cartagia that's not in, I think, in modern Libya now in North Africa I would love to see Cartagia I have a special uh, interest to that geography uh, Satisfaction you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. It's like a person who is uh, becoming a tool uh, so that you can define who you are. You know your goals as a person, your rich emotional world, your uh, tendencies. Um, yeah, actually, that love is giving that self-approval. And actually, you are uh, receiving that. Is the person is like, uh, yeah, it's uh, encouraging. It's it's providing that self uh, approval. It's sometimes like getting a good tarot reading. Really, uh, a good tarot reading sometimes may definitely um, you may uh, incline, you may unlearn what you have known until this time, but it can make you to unlearn, it can make you to confirm something that you already feel deep down, giving that self-approval, or completely uh, gives a different perspective. So uh, I think the beauty is you are open-minded, you stay open-minded for uh, this person's arrival. Uh, we have the guilt. I release. So this is also helping you to release any beliefs that no longer assist in your soul's growth. Again, something actually uh, serving to that uh, Dharma. This is nice. So we have the Four of Swords energy. I uh, have picked a card from the uh, Art of Life Tarot deck. So uh, here there is a, a scenery, as you can see, end of the day uh, detail by George Faulkner, Wetter Bear, uh, from the late 19th century, early 20th century. It's in the private uh, co collection, uh, it says. Uh, I love these uh, really pastoral sceneries. There is some kind of a, a comfort there. It really gives me um, that stillness. and But also, life is moving, you know, um, under these beautiful pastoral colors. My sun sets to rise again. Elizabeth Barrett Browning says, My sun sets to rise again. Yes, my sun sets to rise again. So, Every uh, day, sun actually goes up and goes down, right? But actually, sun is always there. It's just uh, our perception uh, understand that it goes on down. And of course, the geographical thing, but it's actually always there. Um, here, um, I think the person sees the uh, continuity in something. Um, so 
I think you will be also seeing the continuity uh, of life and circumstances here. Uh, and um, we'll learn a lot from this connection. Thank you very much, Cancer, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please take good care. Bye-bye.